Someone once asked if I had put in a, a bench so that they had somewhere to sit as they're coming in. And to me, that's a waste of time and energy because all you do is dust it off as you come through. Uh, we've designed the pharmacy so you don't have to wait. As you come in, there might be a line, but within 10 minutes, we've got you out of our store. Friendly service and a pharmacist who knows you by name. Stapley Pharmacy, your complete family pharmacy. We'll have you out the door in 10 minutes. We want it to mainly focus on community in general. We don't care if you're married, you're single, you're young, you're old, uh, you have family, you have kids, you don't have kids. We want to see the community out and dancing. These dances that we find are really enjoyable to us. Mainly it's from the swing dancing community, which is of course Lindy Hop, which includes stuff like Balboa, Charleston, uh, and uh, some other uh, older styles of dances that come from the 1910s, 1920s, 1930s. And we also want to focus on what is popular out in nightclubs, that you'd be able to dance on a cruise ship, that you'd be able to dance at a wedding, or wherever you wanted to go. I did read in an article about this old water tank that, that back in the day they used to hold dances here. Um, but I have talked to a few people from that generation, and so I'm estimating around back in the 60s was when they used to hold dances here, before there was a railing. And now it's much safer, so you won't fall off. It's grown. At first it was just about 15 people that came out, and then we started going into the 20s. Last week we had our highest number yet, which was 57 people. And so we hope it just continues to grow and grow. It's, it's a free place to come and enjoy. We don't charge. So we hope more people come out and enjoy this tradition. We started by saying, what do we want to see here in the community as a focus? Uh, we found that a lot of the clubs are dying down and there's not a lot of couple dancing out here. We just started telling people about it and it's grown. And so we started advertising on our, our website that's separate of everything that we do. It's called redrockswingdance.com. And we have this event and it's each week. And it's the way we present it to the community is just basically, we happen to be here with music. The number one thing is that anybody can do this. You don't need a partner uh, necessarily. We'll try to teach you how to do from either from a lead or a typical male perspective or from a follow, which is a typical female perspective. We want to focus as, once again, we don't care how old, how young, what race, religion, cultural background, rich, poor, we don't care. We want you to feel the fun of dancing and be able to have an enjoyable opportunity. We would love to get any volunteers who would be interested in uh, learning how to DJ, learning how to set up and organize events, and uh, if anyone wants to learn how to dance, we have classes through Dixie Community Education um, for West Coast Swing and Big Band Swing. And uh, you can come, you can learn, and I'm taking some of my students and turning them into teachers so that we develop this whole cycle of giving back to the community.